you watching? Uh, nothing, nothing. Hey, Favre's on. Hello, I'm Brett Favre. I could throw a football from here to France. And I once broke a man's sturdum with a hard pass. Am I ready for a presidential spot? I do believe I am. <laughs> oh, well that went really far. You, you can't see it on camera or nothing, but it really went, that went really far. <laughs> Do I approve this message? You bet your bottom dollar I do. And welcome back to the Office Max Blockbuster YouTube Debates. Next question to Senator Obama. Mr. Obama, what will you do to keep America safer? Well, Jim, I believe in diplomacy. I believe in change in this great country. I believe in health care, not for just ourselves, but for and our Mr. children. Mr. Favre, what will you do to keep America safer? Well, uh, I, I believe in testing the secondary early, keeping my eye on the clock, and always thinking about picking up the first down, above all else. Now, see, these are football terms, okay? Senator Obama, please, let him finish. Mr. Favre. Please continue. People think I'm inexperienced. What experience do you have, Mr. Farr? Well, I, I'm not one to brag nothing, but uh, I've got over 400 touchdowns and three MVP awards and a Super Bowl winner. What else do you want in the president? You know, well, America. No. What I mean is what can you do in politics? What can you do? to help run this greatest country in the world? Uh, well, I brought my team to the Super Bowl um, back in the past. No! Nearly no, this year. No, no, That is still football. Think outside football. The, well, I dated Cameron Diaz. Interesting reply. Uh, okay. Now you're obviously referring to the Fairly Brothers 1998 comedy, There's Something About Mary. Well, I was in the movie 1998 Fairly Brothers movie, There's Something About Mary. Well, that was a movie, that was a funny movie though, you know. You know, it would be funny, Dan, if we played that instead of my campaigning, you know. Can we put that on? This is a presidential debate. There will not be showing any movies here. <laughs> Obama's coming off as arrogant, man. It's the same mistake Gore made in 2000 against Bush. <laughs> hey, don't look at me, I'm going far. Yeah, me too. Alright, you ready? Here we go, let's do this. Congressman oh, DeNancy, hi, Alan Schaefer. Would you mind answering some questions for my new documentary? Well, sir, it is my day off. I'm not wearing my congressional pin. Thank you pin, very but... much. I appreciate that. Congressman, your party has just nominated Brett Favre as a candidate for the President of the United States. What do you think about that? Well, first off, uh, Paul, is it? I'd Alan. like to say that I was not at the clandestine underground bunker meeting that elected him in South Carolina. So Hello, I'm just, Alan Schaefer. I'm Paul Landis. Do you mind uh, me asking you a couple of questions about your new documentary? Um, I guess. Well, it's very I... controversial. Are you all affected by the fact that it destroyed millions of people's I lives? I don't think it destroyed Joe lives. Lestian I'm destroyed. Filmmaking. Joe Lesti and I'm filmmaking. We do a little documentary on unlicensed documentary guerrilla filmmakers. Do you have your license? I'm licensed, a filmmaker. Sir, This is exactly the that. kind of underground filmmaking that Brett Favre does not stand hey, for. Hey, no, hey, hey, can I see a license? I don't hey, have anything a license. Like gentlemen, but... gentlemen, please. My name is Stephen Chaplinsky, and I'm doing a documentary on you, Joe Les, who's doing a documentary on Mr. Paul Landis, who's in turn doing a documentary on Mr. Alan Schaefer, who is doing a documentary on Congressman Nancy. Actually, gentlemen, the Packers are playing this afternoon. I would like to get going if that's They right. play tomorrow. So, no, 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 they play today. They play today. They play oh, my today. God. Excuse me, gentlemen. It's Michael Moore. Holy <laughs> shit.
Curved. I am your host, Jim Nardi, and with me today, Rock Dalton, who's a Brett Favre biographer, as well, Kyle Health, a bigot. Good to be here, Jim. Yes. Uh, gentlemen, I think what America really wants to know is, is America ready for an athletic president? Well, Jim, I would like to answer your question with a question of my own, and that is, does a bear poop in the woods? I, I really don't know, Rock. Do you know who does know that? Brett Favre. Brett Favre is a rugged man. He is at one with the wilderness, and he has literally, with his own eyes, seen a bear poop in the woods. And the answer is yes, America is ready for an athletic president. Okay, okay. I'm just going to have to interrupt you here. I prefer my presidents to be weak, unqualified, spineless shrimps of men. And I think the American people agree with me that Brett Favre does not fit any of those criteria. First of all, you want to speak to me about lines? Uh, Brett Favre has a great line. 28 touchdowns. 15 interceptions, and a 95.7 passer rating. America loves sports. America loves that line. America loves this Okay, man. we don't ask for experienced athletes. We ask, we ask for inexperienced politicians. Okay, well, if we were to talk about athletes in general, Kyle, to, to your point, I mean, could you see, like, a, uh, an athlete such as Dan Marino or, say, uh, Steve Young running for political candidacy? All right, well, Jim, I'm a bigot. And we all know that. And so let me just say that I will be dead before I see a Mormon jock in the Oval Office. Excuse me. I'm going to have to stop right there. Um, I need you... No, I'm going to comment. That was fine. I want you to retract that comment about jocks. Okay, you know what I would ask of the jocks? That they retract my four years of high school at Elkdale High, all right? You went to Elkdale High? Yes, class of 2000. I went to class of 98, Elkdale High. What was your name again? What did you say your name oh, was? Wow. Um, my name is Kyle Health, or as the jock so lovingly referred to me as the Butterpants! Oh my, Butterpants! Do you remember that time that me and some of the offensive line, we shoved you in your locker and we locked you in there, and then we peed on you to the little hole in the top? Do you remember that? Oh, oh, yes, man. I remember, that was great! Oh, that was a, I remember sad. that, that was a great time. Oh, I'm like, I'm about to make a phone call right now. Oh my, Butterpants! Oh man, oh man. Doyle, 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 is Dutch there? Yeah, but put me on speakerphone, put me on speakerphone. Guess what the television is right Well, uh, it appears <laughs> things to be heating up here on uh, Curved Balls, Balls That Are Curved. I, I'm your host, Jim Nardi, and uh, here today we had Rock Dalton and uh, <laughs> Kyle Health, the, the, the bigot. <laughs> go, to, go to commercial. Hello, I'm Brett Favre, and my wife is hot. Vote for me for your new President of the United States of America. Hello America, I'd really appreciate your vote this year. I know you're busy and all, but I am Brett Favre, and I'm running for your President. Hello, I'm Brett Favre. Well, I'm not winning Super Bowls advertising Advil or modeling Levi jeans. I like to run for president. And that's apparently what I'm doing this year. Hey, America. Go on. Hello, I'm Brett Favre. Do I approve this message? You better bet your bottom bottoms I do. 